Hey family, what's going on? Klaus here and welcome back to Fix That Engineer where we are back on stream as usual and it is going to be an absolute blast as we work on the uh, the walls but I want to go ahead and address the laboratory which did finish between uh, between filming sessions. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and continue to max out the, uh, the, the golem or at least continue to work on the golem. I think, um, let me think real quick. So level four is Town Hall 9, I think. So uh, Town Hall 10 technically would be level 5 golems. I don't know, the chat will probably help me out with that. But uh, let me go ahead and hit the upgrade button. It's 80,000 Dark Elix and an 8 day upgrade. So technically next Tuesday, because I do stream every Tuesday and, and Thursday, you guys will find the link in the description uh, if you guys want to watch this live with us. But um, unfortunately, we do stream every Tuesday and Thursday. So next Tuesday, I'll still have a day left on this upgrade, which is fine. I mean, we'll, we'll see how it goes. So let's go ahead and upgrade this, guys. 80,000 Dark Elixir in 3, 2, 1. Bam. There you go. The golems are now upgrading. I've got plenty of space for Dark Elixir. Now, I do have a problem, and that's that I think I had a, a cake or two pop into my progress. Oh, I've got two cakes that are in the way. Hold on. I've got to remove both of these. As soon as these cakes are out of the way, I'll be able to go into my progress base. And I'm actually going to dump all of my gold and Elixir into walls right now. Also, you'll see that I've got... Miners, um, and I'm going to actually switch over to Barch after these two Miner armies are used up. So that'll be good because we need to not only farm up Elixir, but also gold for the walls. So that's the plan. That's the battle plan. And uh, now we're going to wait a couple of seconds. We'll get some free gold, which is always nice. And then um, build a bounce into the progress base. So there's one that's 80,000 free gold and another 80,000 free gold. Now you might be thinking, wait, 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 80. 80,000. I saw 88,000. Well, it takes 8,000 to get rid of it. So it's an 80,000 gold profit. All right. So bouncing into my progress base, the laboratory setup. And now let me go ahead and upgrade a couple of walls. And we do have a marker. So we'll know exactly how far we get in one stream. There's a few walls. I've also got, I think I have a lab. No, I've got nothing in my treasury. All right, cool. So there you go. Now I need to actually... Get in there and uh, do a boost or two. So let me go ahead and buy that baby. I don't know if I'm going to do one hour or two, but I think that some time would be a great thing to uh, to give it because we do have a lot of walls that still need to be upgraded. So, uh, guys, I'll bring you guys back in for the video whenever I find something amazing. Oh, that's pretty good. <laughs> Eight on Eight hundred thousand golden elixir that's pretty sweet let me go ahead and uh let me look at this first yeah yeah so there's two gold storages on this side one on the right and one on top so here's what i'm gonna do i'm actually going to attack from the bottom right so even if i don't three star technically um we'll still get the majority of the gold storage so this is good uh I'm dropping poison on this queen oh there's a f oh no okay well good thing my queen's awake right uh i can use my queen to take out we got a cc man this is not good i'm gonna go ahead and pop this warden's ability then so that the queen can take out the uh, the flying air CC. That is the worst thing to find whenever using miners. What about this king's ability? He's going to be able to get in there and take out the eagle artillery rel relatively quickly. Heal because of this wizard tower over here. And um, it doesn't look like anybody's going toward the town hall. A few of them are, I guess. But not a lot. I'm going to heal here for the bomb tower. And uh, I don't know what else. Uh, let's get an archer on this corner and an archer on this corner. And I'm just going to hold on to the uh, the heal spell just for a moment because I think I'm going to need them for possibly this multi-targeting inferno. But nobody's targeting the gold or the, uh, I'm sorry, the uh, the town hall. This is terrible. <laughs> Come on, miner. Look at that. They all went around. Literally everyone just kind of went around this. This is terrible. Okay. Well, uh, queen, I need you to, okay, she's stepping into the heal, which is a good thing. Uh, the inferno tower will go down here shortly. Queen is recovering some health. But that's it. We are completely out of heal spells now, which means that all I'm going to have left to my name really are, <laughs> are is the queen's ability, which is which can do a lot. But uh, the biggest problem is going to be this wizard tower down here and then getting through the splash or um, I'm sorry, the uh, point defenses um, over here next to this town hall is going to be a problem too. So not good. I'm going to pop my queen's ability, keep her alive and giant bomb will kill her. Unfortunately, yeah, we're going to fall just short of taking out that town hall, man. What the heck, man? <laughs> what? How did that happen? I don't even know. Oh, by the way, I just forgot that I didn't announce the stream on uh, Discord. Yeah, I need to get in there and make a Discord announcement right quick. By the way, if you're not on my Discord, you can find the link in the uh, the video description. You've got to join that, guys. There's lots of lots of good activity. And you know what? I'm going to let this archer do her thing, and I'm literally going to make 
the stream announcements right now. Hold on. Boom. What's up? Just a real simple announcement. Doesn't take much. And then, uh, you know what? I'm going to do a... Yeah, I'm going to do the link too. Boom. All right. The announcement's been made on Discord. There's just a lot of people that depend on those uh, those announcements. So, there you go. We're, we're, we're done-zo for shunzo. Now, this archer is also doing really good work. I mean, look at this. These are relatively full gold mines. You know what's amazing is that you can send so many troops at a base. And at the end of it all, you're still sitting here waiting on one troop. Like, one survivor. And it happens to be one of my two archers that I bring. I mean, wow. Dollar says miners are weak. They are not. I, I have proven time and time again that miners are like the most legitness of all of the uh, attack strategies in Clash. But there we go. So uh, 700,000 gold. That's a pretty decent amount of gold and uh, definitely what I need if I'm going to be successful in farming up my walls. So I'm going to wait just a moment, make sure I get a full CC, and we'll go out and do another one. Alright guys, another 800,000 gold base. This time I have a wall wrecker, but I have no heroes, so still not the uh, perfect situation. So let's go ahead and uh, jump in here and smack this base, and I'm going to kind of do the same thing I did last time, kind of look at where most of the gold is first, and uh, attack it from that end. So we have one gold storage down here, and we actually have three up here. So let's go ahead and smash this base from the top left, just like so. Let's get a wall wrecker, sending it straight in through the middle. And then kind of just follow along and see where I can throw in my heal spells where um, life is going to be good. So let's go ahead and poison this queen. I'm actually going to heal uh, like a double heal on both sides because I didn't miss a few and there is a multi-targeting inferno there. Um, but let's just see here. Let's just see. Um, I'm thinking this one will go a little better because CC troops, man, are just OP, man. They're just crazy OP. So I'm thinking... Rage spell now, yeah, because uh, not only are the uh, the CC troops going to break through here, but they need to get through the uh, another wall or two, and the walls are actually kind of decent. I do have a, a Valkyrie in the CC, so it'll it should be able to break through the walls relatively easily, you know, in theory, <laughs> right? Sometimes it seems like the uh, the Valkyries are like OP crazy strong, and then other times it seems like they die out pretty fast. I think it has everything to do with whether or not. They're under a heal spell. So, uh, right now we have... Ooh, okay, so we have a few miners. They're going to get this gold storage down here. But everything else is kind of up here at the top, so I don't know how it's going to end up. Most of the gold... Look at that, we got that gold storage. So most of the gold sitting in these two mines, and we got that mine there. So basically, yeah, all the gold that's left is um, down there at the bottom. We have this mine as well, which is pretty full. So it's looking pretty good. I mean, it would not surprise me if we didn't three-star. All right, I'm just going to be honest, because that's just how things seem to go. But... Um, it, it's also possible that there are more miners down here than I'm looking that I can tell uh, There's a lot of them. Wow. There, there's a, wow. There's actually a lot of them. Maybe a couple dozen So we may actually three-star this base still that would be amazing if we could three-star this base right here and now Then that would feel like redemption for the first raid that didn't quite go according to plan, right? So I like it man. I like it go down. Yeah. 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 All right. That is it. It's a three-star What's up, baby? Let's get some three-star hype in the chat for those of you that are watching live And if you're in the YouTube video be sure and post your three-star hype in the comments of today's video That was what was up and lots of dark elixir, too. So that was over 900,000 golden elixir That's what's up That's what's up. All right, so let me go ahead and grab another barge request for some CC and uh, guys I'll bring y'all in Whenever I find some extremely amazing barge raids over the next two hours. I literally just said, let's find a million base. This is the first search, guys, since last time I filmed. This was the very first barge search. Look at this. This is insanity. All right. So. Wow. And this base doesn't even have the eagle artillery. I kind of wish I had brought my miners right now. <laughs> Dang! All right, so um, yes, in the chat, streamer loot. Okay, this is definitely something that only happens to me when I am streaming. Okay, and I'm not just saying that to try to entice all of y'all to come watch the streams. You should, but no, it's just the truth. It's reality. It's like, dude, the loot is always just insane. Also, by the way, I think I see that eagle artillery being built on that far left hand side. That is amazing. So I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this base with the barch, and then we'll make a dive with my wall wrecker, but here's the eagle artillery being built right now. That is awesome. So the loot 
insanity. All right, just absolutely crazy. I'm thinking of attacking this base from the bottom because there is a queen that's causing some problems. So let me go ahead and send the wall wrecker, the warden, king, and the queen. Okay, everybody's in. Everybody's happy. This will also give me the dark elixir storage, which is also my next big search. Uh, I'm thinking uh, rage spell. CC troops are going to jump down in there. Come on, wa uh, warden, step up. Step up, warden. I want you to cover the CC troops. Come on, buddy. Come on. Yes. All right. There you go. Warden's ability. Pop that king's ability, too. Everybody's going to work together to get us into that core. Queen walks around the stinking base because, you know, she had nothing better to do, apparently. Um, but that is just awesome, guys. This was just an amazing find. It was, what was it, like over 1.2 million golden elixir or something like that? So with Barch and some uh, well-placed CC troops and heroes, I think that, yeah, we got the two-star for sure. And uh, we've definitely, uh, we've definitely grabbed over a million golden elixir, which is just absolutely beautiful. And actually, the last of the gold is sitting right here, possibly right there. The queen got that last elixir storage too, so that was pretty solid. So that was awesome. Oh, we got some archers over here. Is there a reason to wait? No, the expo is going to shoot them down. There's no loot. Actually, it's possible that they could. No, I don't think that's. <laughs> I was going to say it's possible that the archers could sneak, sneak around the range of the expo and get this clan castle. But they would have to do some really crazy stuff, and they're going to have to get through this wall in time first. So, I'm going to go ahead and bail. There's no reason. And so, we didn't get all of it, but look at that loot. I literally was saying, let's find a million loot base. Ah! Oh, look at that profit, by the way. Let's just think about the profit. 1.1... 1.2, if you add a loot bonus. 1.25 million elixir, and this army costs, what, 100 and 170,000? Or something like that. 117. 117,000 elixir. This army. Man. Incredible. <laughs> Whew. Alright, it's been a while since I've actually recorded. Uh, we've been having a good time in chat. So, uh, I found a base with over 900,000 gold. Let's get it, dude. Let's get it. I'm just gonna barge the heck out of this base. Unfortunately, I've got no heroes. So, that is a problem. Uh, but uh, that's gonna be alright. I've got my CC troops, so I can actually... Uh, I can actually probably make a pretty decent dive into the base and be relatively successful. But over 900,000 gold. I mean, that's what's up, man. Let's see what happens. Uh, we got ourselves a bunch of gold over here. I've been focusing primarily on gold, so we'll see, like, what stands after the barge kind of finishes up. But it looks like a lot of gold on this side. Uh, two, actually, two storages over here. Three storages over here. Wow. Okay. Uh... Yeah, so let me just do this. I'm going to go from right here. Boom. Wall record. It's going to get through one gold mine, the other, and it may even go through the other gold storage. It may not. All right, let's drop a rage spell. The CC troop's going to pop out. To get this gold storage, they'll probably go up toward that archer tower. And then, oh, they're going to turn around. Okay. That's all right. We'll get that elixir too. So over 900,000 gold, but of course, whenever you're using Barch, you guys know this. I've said this. A thousand times um, you don't obviously don't get all the loot from it but the profit margin and the amount of the short amount of time it takes for the army to cook makes it to where this is an extremely efficient way to farm in fact okay so easy half a million gold in the elixir if I actually look at how much time is left to my boost I've got five minutes so in about in about an hour just under an hour we have gotten to um, nearly maxing out our gold storage again which is pretty sweet so I'm actually gonna do another hour so I gotta buy myself another training potion and then, uh, boom. There we are. Gotta love it. Alright, so, uh, yeah. Um, hour number one nearly done. Let's actually spend the loot here. Uh, we got one, two, three, and four. So how many walls is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Was that eight or nine? I just, okay, two, four, six, eight. Okay, yeah, so eight. Eight walls at three million apiece, eight, sixteen, twenty-four. 24. That's 24 million loot spent so far in today's video. But we have another hour of boosting, so let's get to it. All right, guys, so amongst lots of conversations, I keep forgetting to record these attacks. So I'm going to go ahead and hit this one. This one's a really obvious, a really obvious uh, example of a, a barch base. I mean, like, I think all of this loot, all 700,000 gold has been... Uh, is basically on the outside of the base. So let's see what happens. I've got my CC troops if I need to dive in and grab some, but I don't think that I'm gonna need to. Uh, so let's, let's go. Let's do this. It looks like, yeah, alright, so all the gold mines and electric collectors are gone. Looks like the rest of the loot 
is actually sitting in the the storages, which are really it's really not that much. So I don't think it's worth use uh, wasting my clan castle, my wall record, and all that. So let's go ahead and close out. And there you go. Lots of easy free loot. I mean, <laughs> it doesn't get a lot easier than that. We got 35 more minutes too, so more content coming soon. Uh oh, this is my last attack. I forgot I needed to film it. So uh, 900,000 elixir. Let's go. I started the attack. I dropped like four barbarians, and I was like, oh snap, this is a the last raid of the of the stream. I gotta go. So I gotta film this thing. But um, yeah, check this out. So over 900,000 elixir. I'm actually going to send in the everything. I mean, why not? This is the last attack of the stream. And uh, we're going to try to get ourselves a good old fashioned uh, million elixir, which is the goal for today. I am missing a little bit. I, I probably shouldn't have deployed all of my heroes in one little spot like this. But it'll be all right, right? Let's go ahead and rage this baby up, get through that town hall. And see what happens after that. I want this king to break through this wall for sure, though. Go, 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 king. Go, king, go, king, go. Go, king, go. Don't get distracted. Yes, look at him. Look at him. Beast. Nice, because I wanted him to come through and get this treasure in this elixir storage. So now the only elixir that's really left is this storage. And we got a couple of uh, collectors over there that I completely forgot about. So, queen pops her ability. She gets through the inferno. And um, she breaks through and takes out this cannon. Boom. Oh, king. The warden got the cannon. I like that. Good job. Teamwork. Makes the dream work. And so there you go, guys. Uh, we didn't quite get all 900,000, but we got a pretty decent amount, right? 747 plus 100, that's 850,000 elixir. 850,000 elixir. So now, uh, go ahead and just prepare for the next raid, although it won't be here on stream. Now let's buy a few more walls. I've got loads of gold. I'm gonna buy three, dude. Check this out. Boom, boom, boom. And then the elixir. And then I think I've got a little bit of loot in my treasury. I doubt it's going to be enough, though. Yeah, it's only a million. Cool. Well, there you go, guys. So with a two-hour boost, we have gotten Max Dark Elixir again, which I've got eight days, like I said earlier, for this golem to finish. And then, um, yeah, crazy amount of wall progress, guys. I got over... How many walls was this now? I did uh, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve... 13. 13 says 39 million loose. We've done more in previous streams, but that's still pretty dang good, right? So, uh, guys, that's going to be it for me today in this episode of Fix That Engineer as we continue to march down to the finish line. I'm not running, obviously. I'm, I'm doing it quite slowly, but I'm marching, marching to the end here. Uh, be sure and like this video if you liked it. Hit that subscribe button also if you haven't already for daily gaming videos. And to join the hashtag Klaus family, don't forget to ring the bell for notifications and become a member if you'd like to get early access to videos and ad-free viewing. Once again, don't forget that we stream every Tuesday and Thursday. And lastly, don't forget to use creator code to support your favorite content creator. If you'd like to support me, use code Klaus. There's a link in the description. Now, one thing I do want to note is it's easy to tell if you're code has expired, but even I lately have forgotten. I bought a gold pass and the code had expired. So, and I didn't, I didn't get the, the I, I didn't have a code put in. So basically you got to go to your shop and you got to look and see if that white C is there. If it isn't, then use the link in the description to automatically input the code or do it manually by going to the settings, more settings and under creator boost and put code Klaus or like I said, any content creator you choose to support. If you, do, if you do choose to support me, though, I greatly appreciate it. It's a huge blessing to not only me, but my family. So, guys, that's all for me. Remember that we stream every Tuesday and Thursday, and I hope to see you guys in the next one. Link is in the description. Remember that I love each and every one of you, and I will see you all again next time.